If you've ever created an 8 or 16 bar loop and you just don't know how to take it out to a full song, you are not alone. We have all been there before and today I'm going to go in depth on EDM arrangement and how to arrange your loop into a full track. My name's Will from EDM Tips and I run an online music production school teaching bedroom producers how to get to a professional level. Today we're going to be going into song arrangement. This is something I've been asked about so many times over the years and I've never actually made a YouTube video about it so I wanted to do that for you today. So this is what we're going to be covering today. I'll be going into the terminology and describing exactly what the different names for the different song parts are. I'll be showing you the most common track structure for almost any genre of modern music. I'll be showing you how to create and use your own energy maps and we're going to be going into five huge EDM tracks breaking apart their arrangements so you can use those techniques in your own music to finally take those ideas into fully finished tracks. Huge shout out to one of my students Jesse who's just released this track and I absolutely love it. So if you do want to produce music of that high quality, you can check out my masterclass below this video. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you want tips like this each and every week. Okay, let's do it. So most modern music, and especially electronic dance music, is done in 4-4 four, four time. And that means there's four beats on every bar, and then the track is a combination of those bars taken out over your three, four, or five minute arrangement. Now, you also get phrases which might be perhaps two or four bars. For instance, you might have a build-up that has two phrases. In the build-up, you might start hinting at the main melody, but the second part of that build-up, you might get a snare roll coming in as well. And they are the basic terminology that we're going to be using today. Now, I'm going to show you a few arrangements over several different styles of electronic dance music to show you the similarities in the actual arrangements that people use. First, let's take a step back and talk about what the different parts of each arrangement are. In a nutshell, you have an intro, you have a verse, you have a build-up, and you have a drop. And then you might have an outro as well. There are a couple of other phrases in there that we're going to be using, like a bridge, and I'll explain that all very shortly. So the general idea is that you want to take your listener on a journey throughout the track. So you've got to keep that interest alive. You've got to take people up to the highs, you've got to take them back down, and then build them up for the most exciting part of your track, which would usually be the chorus or the drop. Now a quick note on that, people sometimes confuse these terms. They think chorus and drop means the same thing, but if you separate it out into two kind of sets of terminology, one is talking about the music and the other is kind of talking about a song. For instance, you might have a chorus in the build-up, but then your drop will just be an instrumental, so technically it's not the chorus. But it's gonna make more sense when we go into this music. So the first track we're gonna look at is this track by Galantis and David Guetta and Little Mix and it's 124 BPM. So you can see I've split it up here into A, B, C, D, B, C, C bridge, which we'll get to in a sec, and D. And these are the different sections that we've just talked about now. So A is the intro, B is the verse, C is the build up, D is the drop, and then we go back to the verse, then another build up, then another twist on the build up, and then the drop again. Now in terms of that emotional roller coaster I was just describing, here is how you can analyze tracks that are already out there because this is a great way to get ideas for what your arrangement should be. So I've just created this extra channel here and I've put on just an, any plugin, it doesn't really matter, but I've put on a gain plugin here and I've just automated it. And if we listen to our reference track, we can see that this energy map here is following the energy of the song. So it starts out, quite low in energy, as you'd expect, because it's the intro. Then we get the verse. Now we've got the vocals coming in. Now we get the second part of the verse, so this is what I was talking about, phrases. Got some more, the strings have come back in, but it's still the verse. And then we're gonna get to the build up here, and you can see the energy's gonna grow. You can hear the filters opening up on the piano, the drums, filters opening up so the energy is increasing, and now we get the drum intro, the claps, and then the energy goes down, then up. 
for the drop. So let's have a quick look at what's going on here in terms of the song structure and the arrangement of the music itself. So we've got the verse, she's singing there and there, but here she's actually singing the chorus in the build-up. You know, the track's called This Ain't A Heartbreak Anthem or something like that. So when the drop happens, she's still singing that chorus. And then we go back down to the verse, the second verse, which has got a bit more energy than the first verse, and that's very common as well. So the second part of the track has usually got more energy than the first part of the track. This is still the verse, but the energy is building. So this is kind of the second phrase of the second verse. And I'll explain exactly what's going on here with this build up. Goes back down. But she's singing the chorus now, but it's still the build up musically. Now the bridge is when it might go away from the main chord progression for a bit or do something a bit different from the rest of the track. So the chords change here. And then we're back to the normal chords here for the second drop. In fact, I'll label this differently and I'll explain why in a minute. So I call these the post drops, this D2 here, and we've got a couple down here as well. So now the energy changes even more. This is the highest energy part of the whole track. And there's no intro, there's no outro on this track. It just finishes like that. Cool, so that is the main way that we look at structure, the main parts of songs and the main parts of song structure. So now I want to show you in a couple of other genres, still electronic dance music, some older tracks and newer tracks, as I said before. So you can see that these patterns still apply. And this is a very common pattern here. Bit of an intro, the verse, the build, the drop, then the verse, the build, the drop, and then the outro. That's a very common structure. Now, let's look at this Tiesto track, The Business. And you'll all know this tune, of course. So we've got the intro. You can hear it's already hinting at the main drop with the bass line. It's just taken way down in volume and the low end's been taken out of it. And now we've got the first drop here. And then we've got a break here, which doesn't, yeah, I mean, you could just call this break because it doesn't actually have a verse yet. And then here's the verse. Let's get down, let's get down to business. So you can see we've got the verse one more night, one and the build exactly here, the we've verse and the build. Million, million nights, just like this. And we're just going to have a quick look at this drop down, and then the post drop as well. Mama, please don't worry here, here comes the build. It's a, it's a lot more subtle than the last track because it's a slightly different genre. So you always need to be listening out for references in the genre you're producing. And here comes the drop. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night, one more night to get this. We've had And then the post drop. Let's get down, let's get down. Singing up an octave, the hi hats come in. Back to the verse, exactly like in the other track that we looked at. And then the build. Well, this is this is again is another break. So the build really starts here. The builds in this tune are very subtle. It's just like a whoosh at the end. Let's get down, let's get down to business. And there is an outro on this tune. And it 
just fades out. But this is a slightly different arrangement, this track. This is a, the extended mix. If it was the normal radio edit or Spotify edit, it would be a bit shorter and it would match this arrangement of the Glantis track more closely. So now let's have a look at an older track. Let's go to this Calvin Harris track with Florence Welsh. Absolutely love this tune. This is 128 BPM, I think. A bit faster. But this one goes straight to the verse. But again, the same chords that are going to be in the drop, same chords that are in the build up as well. Here's the build. And again, this is the chorus. So quite often nowadays, the chorus is actually not on the drop. It comes just before the drop so that the drop can be instrumental. Second phrase of that build up. Things are getting up a bit, energy's coming. And then the drop. Same chords as the rest of the track, but just slightly different instrumentation. And then the energy goes back down. Same as the, exactly the same as the other tracks. So this is the most common arrangement when it comes to EDM, especially kind of on the pop side of things. But this even works in the more kind of club oriented stuff. So if we look at this Getter and Morton remix of Getter and Sears track Titanium. And again, let's just have a quick look at it before we listen to it. We've got the intro. It's all a bit longer because it's for a, a nightclub rather than the, rather than the Spotify playlist. Uh, we've got B, which would be the verse. We've got C, which is the build up and also the chorus, I believe, in this track. And then the D, which again is an instrumental drop. So the chorus is coming before that. Let's, so let's have a quick listen. We've got the intro, just the beat, setting the um, key of the track, just holding on that one note, the root note of the track. And we've got the break which could actually be labelled like break because there's no singing yet. And there's the verse we all know from Titanium. So this is the chorus now which is actually not in the build. This is before the build. It's still the break, really. And then we have an instrumental build. Going into the instrumental drop. And then the post drop where there's a bit more instrumentation. white noise and a riser in the background and then we get, again we go back to verse number two the chorus again the build and the instrumental drop now I want to throw in a wild card here and if you want me to cover different genres like techno because there are slightly different approaches to genres like techno and melodic house so let me know in the comments if you do want me to cover those things this is more on the EDM and the pop tip but let's look at this track by DJ Snake and Little John from a few years ago. And this is a bit of a wild card because if we look at the arrangement here, we basically go build up, drop, post drop, build up, drop, post drop, build up, drop, and a longer post drop, and then the outro. So this is a really simple arrangement. And let's have a listen to it. Like there's no chorus, uh, no verse, we just go straight to the build. And then the drop. The post drop, which is kind of the second phrase of the drop with more drums and instrumentation. With the track claps and the yay, yay. And then we go straight back to build. Just reminds me of the video of this brilliant. Um, and then the second drop is different from the first drop. You know, it's a slightly different vibe on this track, and I think that was why it did so well. Part of the reason it did so well. And then you've got your post drop with the claps and the yeah, yeah. And then back straight to another build. So there are a couple of different ways to arrange. The ones that I showed you first are the most common. And remember, these are all about bringing out one idea to fruition. So in all of these examples, 
There are elements that are in the intro, so let's go back to the original Galantis track. So listen to the chords and the strings here. The piano chords. They're exactly the same as on the drop. Now, the only difference in this is when we switch on the bridge and the chords change. So what do you do when you've done your 16 bar loop? Well, it depends on which part of the track your 16 bar loop should fit to. Most of the time, people will produce an idea and it turns out to be the drop. Now, if that is the case, you've got everything that you need there to start building out your track. You can copy and duplicate all of the clips in your block across your three, four or five minutes and then start taking them out, following this structure here. So you could even follow this energy map. So if you've got everything in here in your drop, in the build up, you can have exactly the same chords, but maybe you filter them down and open them up. And then you've got your drum intro as well. Uh, and then your intro, again, even less going on in that. So when you're building out from a drop, that's the easiest way I find. If you've created a structure and perhaps it's the intro or the first verse, then take it to the drop as soon as you can and start building out everything that's gonna be in your track. Like whatever you start or wherever you start in your track, if you can get that drop in as quickly as possible, then that is the main idea for the track pretty much. So anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video today, guys. I've had so, so many requests for this over the past few years. So I thought I really wanted to, to kind of uh, build it out for you. Obviously, there's a lot of detail and nuance and professionalism in these songs. Taking that energy map where it needs to go, that's exactly the kind of thing and the depth that we go into in my eight-week EDM production masterclass. So if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. You can download my EDM producer starter pack if you want some free samples and cheat sheets and stuff like this. And yeah, you can also check out my masterclass below this video as well. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, cheers and happy producing.